That's it. I'm not going to go into explainer mode, man. Randy, you are not going to force me to present to you like I'm some kind of fucking salesman. Okay. Cause I'm not, I'm here to solve a problem if you've got one. Uh, but I'm not here to, to try to pitch you on some new fangled technique I've invented on how I'm going to do real estate with you. It uh, he went on further to, to get you into explainer mode by saying, what do you mean by this tenant buyer? I thought you were going to be renting the house. So he really backed you into a corner there, didn't he? Yeah. And how, kinda, how would you, how would you have? Oh yeah, that? Randy. Absolutely. I, like I told you when we started, I'm an investor. I'm, I want to put some good people in there and yeah, I do. I want to make a little bit of money, but I also want this to be a good solution for you. Does that seem unreasonable or what? Right. That's it. I'm not going to go into explainer mode, man. Randy, you are not going to force me to present to you like I'm some kind of fucking salesman. Okay. Cause I'm not, I'm here to solve a problem. If you've got one, uh, but I'm not here to, to try to pitch you on some new fangled technique I've invented on how I'm going to do real estate with you. It's, it's not about that. So I will not let him push me into it. And you did, you got pushed into it a little bit. He kind of backed you into a corner. And I think if you handled it a little bit like more pithy statements, like, right. like, what do you mean tenant buyer? Yes, sir. I'm an investor. I want to put some good people in there and I want to make some money, but I also want you to make money too. I want it to work for you. Does that seem, is this a deal breaker or not? Yeah. Hey, real quick, tell us about your deals this week. What you were telling us in the VIP. Oh, so yeah, again, follow up again. It's been key. All the deals that I um, blasted, it was 75 leads that I had. I only got up to 75. Okay. So they were all deals that I had already spoken to. Again, the price were just too far apart. So what I did, I just texted them all. Hey, it's Arturo. I, I, we spoke a few months ago about your property. Again, uh, hope you're safe, whatever, whatever. Again, I'm still interested in buying. I had like seven replies. Three of them, the ones that I mentioned. One, the guy had it on the contract for the last three months. At 130, it's a fourplex. They just got, he said that they just, the realtor sent him a, an extension form. Like, ah, you know what? I'm not going to extend it no more. He's been extending it for two months already. And I was hey. asking, so what's the issue? If, if you have, it's a cash buyer, it's a buyer. They already has a financing established. What's the issue? Like, I don't have no idea. So he was really frustrated. Yeah. So you know what? My price needed to be at 65 initially. And we were able, 90 makes sense. It's a fourplex. So 90 makes sense. So I just need to go see the fourplex because I told them that to send me all the information that they did as far as they did, they did an inspection for it. They did a foundation inspection. So they didn't appraise already. So everything's been done. But now he's frustrated. He doesn't want to give him no more extension. Yeah. So that's one deal. So there's a lot of, I bet, a, I, there's, I bet there's a ton of people out there just like that, man. Yeah. So. All these three that came in were all the same. They're all under contract, but either the financing fell through or they just wanted one more extension or mainly because what I'm thinking, I used to be a lender. Usually when, before you're going to do the funding and everything, you check that, of course, the income's still there and everything. So most likely their income's no longer there. Either it's been paused or something's happening. So the issue is it doesn't work no more for them to yeah. buy it right now. Yeah. So that's the, that's, that's for the poor play. For the, the other house, she was selling it for, I think it was, I don't know the contract price. I offered her, she wanted 100000 Right now, you know, I can't do 100000 I got to be at seventy. He's like, and then I said, well, can, I, can you do payments? And I actually have the copy of the text. And she's like, yeah. And she's like, no, I don't want the payments. And then she texted me today. Uh, yeah, I can do payments. What is that 180, uh, 180 equal payments <laughs> thing? I'm like, yeah, just 180 payments of uh, 555 there you go. No interest, no nothing. There you and go. And she's, she's game on that one. Crazy. The other one that she had listed, this lady, she initially had it listed for 265 Yeah. This is probably like seven months ago. I'm like, yeah. well, I'm, I, I, realistically, I had to be at 145 to 160 for this one to work. So we ended it up there. And then I text her here. And I've been noticing that she's been decreasing the pain, the again, uh, price. Price drop, price drop, price drop. Yeah, and I told yeah. her, like, this, this is basically what's going to happen to you. You're going to be price dropping, price dropping, price dropping until somebody matches it. She had it at, at 200 She dropped it for 4000 and she's at 186 
I texted her, you know what? I can do cash, but it has to be between 140 to 155. Yeah. And she's like, you know what? She's like, if you give me 160, I'm good. And I know I can drop her another 15K on that one. Yeah. That house is worth probably 170 for a buy and hold guy. All there day. There you go. There you so go. Again, those, again, so I'm, I want to get it for 155, 150. That's an extra 25 for me. If I, if once I, use, and yeah. I actually just, I mentioned it to an investor that does the buy and hold. She's like, yeah, I like that house. It doesn't need anything. The house is new and fresh. Yeah. Good job, so, man. And yeah, thank you. Thank you. And the main point, like, I was like, okay, I have leads that are coming in. I have banditants out there, there that I talked to. Like, you know what? Let me, let me go to my CRM. And yeah, I got them all. They were all labeled as dead leads. So I just pulled yeah. them all and I just blasted them. That's so, awesome. And that's what I, yeah, I know. The only, the, I was, I was, I was waiting for Michael's uh, update as far as the, the CRM so I can have yeah. it all in once because I have it, I have it in Podio and I have some over here and I have some over here. Um, but yeah, again, uh, a, a couple of things on the call that, that, um, that I just heard with the, the, the role play. Uh, I think Tim, Tim, you just like, Look back at how the guy that you had on the on the podcast, um, you uh, Justin, the alpha keeping alpha. Don't yeah. be a, again. Remember, you have a million dollars in your pocket. Imagine if you had that money and someone was yeah. pushing like, shit, get the fuck, out, get away from me, dude. Like, you know what? Are you messing with me? No one's gonna give you hundred <laughs> k. Or like, you think somebody you can put it on Craigslist? Someone's gonna give you hundred k plus rent for you? Come on, be serious, guy. Now, exactly. If you want right. to make money with, right. you make money right. with me. Let's yes. all get in the same living pool. Now, if you're just BSing right. or bullshitting, hey, just let me know. I won't take you more of your time because, again, your time is valuable. Mine is valuable, too. Exactly. Yeah. You, you like cannot, that. Yes. When are you ever going to, you know, and I don't mean this like, like it sounds, but you cannot, you cannot not be the guy that you, if you won't call them on their bullshit, you, you're dead in the water, man. I mean, you really have to just be bold enough to just say, "Hey, the house is worth four hundred, and you want five hundred. Please explain that to me because that doesn't make any sense." Yeah, do that thing. Like, how do I make money? Like, I, I know I'm dumb, but I, I still graduated. Yeah. Like, how do how I mean, this make like please? Yeah. yeah. And trust me, one of the things yeah. that I learned about that, if that guy has ten calls and they're all the same, you are going to be the one that's going to be sticking out. Right, because you're the guy who was smart enough and honest enough and just candid enough to be like, "Hey, what the hell are you talking about? I, it seems like this house is worth four hundred, and you're wanting five. Uh, what, what am I missing here?" Yeah, uh, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And great I, advice. I know where, great advice. I know where you're coming from, Tim, because I used to be in customer service, and yeah. in customer service, you had to be, "Oh, I understand. Oh, I appreciate that. Really, really nice, right?" Yeah. But here, we're supposed to be the investor, man. You were the one that has the money. What does the guy want? He wants cash. What does he have is an asset that he can't move. So you know what? If you want to yes. sell the house, I'm probably your best bet right now. But you got to stop all this bullshit and be telling me that you want 500K when it's Ooh. worth 400K. Dude, you are and preaching. You change, like it. He's preaching to the choir. When you take that tone, that tone, the sellers, man, they're like, whoa. And they appreciate it when they it's hang out. Different. Like, man, yeah, you might. Exactly. Because, again, you're that nail that sticks out. But for the good reason, you know what? If you're gonna call, you're gonna be bullshitting on me, seller. You know what? Okay, let's hang up. And then I don't and have time. And it's ruthlessly honest, and they like that. Yeah, because you're making again. The numbers are making again. The county has a value at something. Silo has a value at something. And you're asking twenty k, thirty k over again. Like, it doesn't make sense. So when you had, I think his name was Brad. He's like, are you really like jump over the phone and he's choking? Are you fucking kidding with me? Like, come on. How do you make? How do yeah. you make these numbers up? Are you just fucking in a castle and? And you think this is your, your, your wonderland? Right. Again, when you take that attitude with the seller, when, they, when they're bullshitting you like that, so you know what? Are you just messing with me? I know I, know right. I can put a little humor. I know I'm, I was dumb and I only graduated from college, but uh, the numbers don't make sense. <laughs> I like it. That's good feedback. Uh, Thank you. I like it. Yeah. That's super, man. So, I, but yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to steal time. this. I'm going to steal this section of the VIP call tonight, and I'm going to put that on YouTube. Is that okay? Go for it, go for it. Yeah, go Is for it, it, go for it. You're, you're, you're hitting it right out of the park, man. I mean, you're preaching my sermon. I love it. Yeah. Just don't be too nice, man. Again, people, like it's like I say, nice people don't it. Again, it's bullshit. That bullshit, that being too nice. Nah, just don't be nice. Be, be firm and assertive. And you, you're supposed yeah. to be the guy that has the money, man. It, it takes smarts to have money in your pocket. Not everybody, unless you win the lottery. 
but it, it takes Mars to have money in your pocket. So again, value that. Arturo, right. I got to ring the cowbell for you, man. <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs> hey, good job, good job on those deals, and uh, and way to go, dude. You got the right, you got the right mojo. It That's took a good. lot of, of of learning, man. Trust me, I was really nice before and you have to be nice but then when it comes to making money and this is your own business man again you can't close all deals so the ones yeah. you do have be assertive and i know it's a win-win but most likely you have to make money there's like yeah. people that say i want to i want to help people literally you don't want to help people you want to make money and then the way people get help right you know yes what I mean? yes that's so correct um yeah that's that's my only critique on on tim he's super 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 good uh, he's got the knowledge. He's got the flow. We just need to. We just need to toughen you up a little bit, man. So you, yeah, you put bit, some thorns on your body. You thorns, get you, people. make you a little bit more mean. You know. Got it. All right. All right. Like, a, like an old junkyard dog, a little bit. Perfect. Yeah, a little bit with a soft heart. You know. That's all. Right. Don't bite people. <laughs> hey guys, I love you. We've been here a long time tonight. Uh, longer than we probably ought to be. Oh, God.